Hey, hey there, my fellow Tarhans. I'm Captain Beans, and welcome back to High Fleet Builds. Yeah, I know it's been a while. The New Year's holidays have been quite wild, so I wasn't really able to upload much. But here we are, and today I'm going to chop up the Sevastopol and turn it into a light cruiser again why because it's funny and you know <laughs> actually if you're new to this channel i have actually done such a thing before in one of my old videos where i literally just chopped up this middle part of the ship and attached this front piece to where this fuel tank is right here and basically turned it into a light cruiser with some radars, missiles and stuff like that and just made it into abomination but I figured that video didn't actually do so well so let's, let's do it again because why not so I think we can begin by uh, well acquiring a uh, Sevastopol that's the first step which I've already done. Look at him here. And so I think the first thing we need to do is, I think, detach the starboard part of the ship. So let's see. Alright, so this part of the ship is detached, along with uh, everything, you know, the guns, landing gear. Okay, now let's remove all of this unnecessary fuel tanks and stuff like that. We don't need that. And just, uh, yoink. And we're very close to the final step. Well, now let's figure out how to reattach this stuff together. I want to make sure that the landing gear is perfectly level when I'm doing this. So I want it to be like this. Hmm. I have to remove those. Yeah, something like that. Just have to remove a bunch of this shit right here. Okay, I've reattached it. Now let's just fill up the gaps. Okay, this thing is already looking pretty bad. But, okay, let's uh, make some finishing touches. You know, make sure the armor is okay and everything. And then let's see how this thing does in battle. Wait, what? Wait, what the hell? I can attach this to here? But there's armor in the way. Okay, never mind. I'll do it. Alright, and I think... This monstrosity is ready. Let's just see how bad it is in battle. Alright, let's go! So we're going against two bodies. Let's see what's see what happens.
<clears throat> okay, so it did suffer some damage in the missile silo. And the radar tower definitely took some hits. So, as I'm seeing here from battle, the main weak points of this ship is the missile silo and the radar tower. But okay, let's see how this thing does against slightly more ships. Okay, here we have uh, its worthy enemy, the Varyag. Let's see if this thing even survives after this battle. Let's go. Ouch. Radar tower is destroyed. Um, <laughs> look at this. This thing is definitely dead for sure. Let's try this again. Okay, maybe that battle was a bit harsh. Let's see if, how well this thing does against maybe like a nomad. is destroyed. Pretty cool, but I kind of don't like how each side only has one big gun. I'd honestly like to have more artillery. Yeah, so one thing I realized is that each side of the Svistible has only one of these uh, 180 millimeter Schwal cannons and it's nice but it's only one gun like bro that's not enough Daka not enough gun <laughs> we need more <laughs> so let's see if I can attach more gun to this ship okay so I have attached another Schwal cannon on this side Hopefully this should increase the firepower a little bit. Le 
Let's go. Oh yeah, look at the look at that firepower. Ooh. That moment when you have uh, more than one Skval cannon firing at the same time. Power. Okay, let's go against a couple of nomads because I have increased the firepower and so this should definitely beat the shit out of them. Let's go, bitches! These R5 Zenith missiles, I hate those. Fucking cringe. Use gun. Gun is based. Any firefighting modules. Oh, oops. And to conclude this build, should you ever take a big ship and saw off most of the useful stuff that makes it a flagship? Yeah, probably not. It's a pretty dumb idea, especially if you're trying to make this design cheaper, which, well, <laughs> It's not anyhow cheaper. And really, it doesn't really help with thrust, speed, or any other factor as well. So, and on that note, I think this is going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this uh, monstrosity that I've just created. And uh, have a very nice day. Happy building. <laughs>